Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. One of my most popular videos ever on YouTube was a review of several different AI literature review tools. So one of those tools was called Illicit, and I was particularly impressed at the time, but I haven't used it for a wee while. They've just had a whole host of updates. So it now has a slightly different layout. It has a number of new features, including the ability to upload your own PDFs, as well as build notebooks and be able to prompt papers. So let's take a look at some of these new features. We'll do a bit of a general tour as well. I've got a link to Elicit down in the video description. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what goodies they might give you, but using their code I think may give you a couple more extra credits when you sign up. So here we are on the main page. You can see it's still a very nice, simple setup. They refer to a notebook as a series of searches. So you can see down the left-hand side, I've had a couple of searches there. We can click on a new notebook here on the left if we want to get to a new page like this. And on this page, we can ask a research question. We can extract data from PDFs. And we can also request a list of concepts. So that can be a nice way of trying to refine how we go about searching across the papers above and beyond our research question. They now work on a credit scheme. So down the bottom left, we have credits. Even on the free plan, you get a certain number of credits per month. If you are on one of the paid plans, you get more credits and then a few other extra features as well. So let's dive in. Um, we can add a notebook title if we would like. If we don't, I think it will just revert to our research question. And let's do some searches, have a look at what's going on. So when we put in our research question, as it previously did, it will source papers. It will try and choose the most relevant, and now it will summarize up to eight of the most relevant papers. We can see here it has the summary with the references that it is referring to here. Additionally, we have this table. Currently, it just has the paper and the abstract, but we can add a whole lot of extra columns if we are interested in things like, for instance, methodology, main findings, and in fact, actually, if we click show more, there's a whole lot of other different columns that can be included. Up on the top right, with this new format, if you've used the older versions of Elicit, because we can now keep working down the page in this notebook style, G produces a little table of contents off to the side here. We can drag that out if we want. And so as we go further down, if we keep refining this question, then it will give us the various points down the page for us to refer to. We also have this new button here, add a new step. So if we click on this, it'll take us down to the bottom. We can see if we wanted more papers, we've got load more. But when we click on add an extra step, now we have a number of different things that we can do. So we can see there is those original three if we want to ask another variation of our question. But if we select one or more papers, we can create a uh, table, we can summarize the abstracts, and we can chat with them. So let's have a go of chatting with the papers and see how this new functionality works. So it's not quite a co-pilot as such. Uh, but we can see that I asked here for chat with the papers. I just selected this bottom one. And how did it, it's a systematic review. How did they select the articles for the systematic review? And we can see it's given a pretty good, pretty good and just detailed description here. We can see there's a button down here for using full text. It uses more credits, uh, but I would imagine you will use that most of the time. It seems like a pretty important feature. The kinds of things that we want to ask if we're chatting with a paper seem like the kinds of things where it's going to be information from the full text more often. I guess the only exception could be maybe if we select a whole lot at once and then we either want to chat uh, or do one of those other functions, then maybe we might limit it to abstracts if it was something very high level like a conclusion. If we do one of the functions with the paper selection, we do need to come back and reselect them before we do something else, which is maybe a little bit annoying. Um, but let's see what happens if we try and chat with the eight papers instead. So I think this is actually pretty good. I asked for the common themes across the papers. It's certainly giving a lot of a lot of detail here. Um, and I've kind of skimmed through these papers. AI in the medical education space is one of the areas that I'm working at the moment. And so these all look both pretty good and pretty relevant 
to those papers. You can see that we've used a few credits, but not, not an obscene amount. Uh, I would say that you probably do need the paid version if this is something you are going to be using a lot. See the table of contents uh, stretching out here. So overall pretty good. Let's go to a new notebook and let's try the upload PDF feature. So with this uh, select and upload PDFs to extract data, we can select a number of PDFs at once. I've uploaded one here. This is my PhD thesis. So no concerns about copyright. Uh, you probably need to be a little more, more selective. Uh, copyright rise with other things you might be uploading here. But really nice to be able to upload papers. And now you're not just limited to the papers that Illicit can see through open access and through its own sources. You can supply extra material. You could even experiment, and I haven't tried this with this particular tool yet, but I've tried with this some others, is creating PDFs, say from blogs or websites or things like that, being able to upload them. Eventually, I would hope that as well as extracting from PDFs, you'll just be able to link to those sources. So I've seen a couple of tools where they're building on that. Hopefully that's going to be something in a future iteration. So anyway, we can upload papers. And once we've uploaded a paper, then we can extract the data from it. Okay, so overall it did a pretty good job. This thesis is uh, 250 pages. So it's a pretty sizable PDF for it to process. It actually didn't take too long. In terms of both the summary, main findings, these are pretty good. Methodology, I thought I would try clicking on this button for high accuracy. And it sat loading for a while. So we'll, we'll undo that. We'll come back. And the basic description here, again, actually pretty bang on. And it's probably actually a hardish question to answer because I used several different methods. So we had log linear models, we had some different kind of simulation models. There was a mix of stuff going on and you had to pick that out from several different sections. So that was pretty good. I uh, found that the high accuracy button just kind of sat in churn. Maybe it's because the document's too big. Might do some experiment. Might also talk to the developer about that one. Um, we do also get a filter, so you can imagine if we had used multiple papers here and then we wanted to filter, and methodology would actually be one which could be a really good filter, so maybe filtering by particular types of models or quantitative or qualitative, whatever keyword. So that's a pretty handy little feature if we were adding more. We can have a go at chatting with this as well, so we can see we've got the add new step down here. We can have a chat. And so this is pretty impressive. So I asked it what kind of log linear models were used. This is a pretty technical question. And not only was it able to extract the four types, but it was able to give a pretty good explanation of each one in the context of what I was doing. So definitely some points there in terms of that chat with paper. I would definitely put that on par or even a fraction better than some of the co-pilot styled chat with a paper type tools. So coming back to our previous search, uh, just a couple of other things that I wanted to share with you. Uh, and also we might test this high accuracy button as well. So one is the export as. So these tables we can export as a CSV or in a number of popular literature tools like EndNote and Zotero. Up here the filters are really handy, uh, particularly if you really need the full text, has PDF. And then some usual stuff like publication year, the study type, and words that we want to see in the abstract or not in the abstract. So all pretty handy filters. We can also sort, so currently it's most relevant, but the other one we might be interested in is most cited. Maybe most recent as well, particularly for some of this AI stuff. That is a quick demo of some of the new features in Illicit. Definitely worth a trial using the free credits that you get monthly. I've uh, found it to be one of the better and more accurate tools, and I guess if it works really well for you, you might consider the upgrade as well. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon with more videos on AI, stats, R research, and random stuff.